the most popular streaming services in 2023. Very simple. YouTube. YouTube is the number one. I know on your phone you've got TikTok going too, but YouTube is number one. Now, we're streaming shows, movies, Netflix is still the king. You can get tons of great content on Netflix. Old shows are great to have right now because of the writer's strike. You all know what's coming up. The Expanse was a great show that Netflix picked up. Comedy specials, movies, movies, TV, great movie, great movie. Top Gun Maverick is now on Prime Video. So Prime Video is very good. Netflix is more popular than all the others besides YouTube. Prime Video is popular because if you have a Prime subscription and you subscribe to get shipping from Amazon, you get this free. So they count that. So all the people that have free shipping may not even know it, but they have Prime Video and that counts as popular. They have some great stuff on Prime Video. Don't get me wrong. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is excellent. Disney. We all know Disney. Now, they have, everyone's pretty much slowly getting into the ad version, the no ad version, to save you a little money. Not yet on Prime Video, not yet on Apple, okay? But Disney has tons of great content with Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, their own library of movies and TV shows. They're sneaking over Disney Channel content. It's just great. If you have kids, Disney's the number one place for you. Max has all these great shows, including Nickelodeon. So if you have kids, you know, look again, you've got that. One of the fun things here I see is HBO's Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon mentioned twice to show how popular that franchise is. And then from Discovery Channel, the Magnolia with Joanna Gaines, and then there she is again with her husband, they're very, very popular on Discovery. So now that Max has merged with Discovery, they were like the first thing to drop. Getting Magnolia was a big deal. And you've got some Sesame Street content. The Last of Us was excellent. Euphoria, Succession is excellent. My wife is just obsessed with getting another episode. Got Barry, Shark Week is part of Discovery. Great. What else have we got? The next most popular streaming service is Paramount. Paramount Plus, we'll move it up top to see if we get any thing pops up in this. It does pop up. Ghosts, my wife is obsessed with watching Ghosts. It's a sitcom on CBS. It's based on a UK show. We've watched the UK show, the first two parts. Oh, Paramount took away our little thing. They're not synced with Apple like they used to be. But Paramount is the next biggest show. They have all the Star Trek, all the Taylor Sheridan, except for Yellowstone. You have to jump over to Peacock to get Yellowstone, which you're like, what in the world? But they paid a lot of money for that show. Don't get them wrong. And that money went to paying for all those other Yellowstone shows. So 1923, 1883, there are more shows coming. There's 6666, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, yep, that's right, coming. Taylor Sheridan's got Linus out now which is a great show. Let's see if we can get in here. We, there are some people from Ghost. The two, first two characters are both from the Ghost show. That's Thor and that's Hetty. The Chi is on. We've got some sports. There you go. Transformers new movie is on. Secret Celebrity, don't know that. <sighs> Zoe, you got a secret little thing. Billions from Showtime is on if you pay for the higher end version. America. But there's Ghost down there. Come on, let's go down. There's a little Ghost. Joe Pickett is an excellent show. Picard, Transformers, NCIS, Discovery, Everything All I Once movie, and Wolfpack. Excellent. And then you've got The Neighbors, Young Sheldon, 
all these great shows that are on Paramount. And with the writer strike, getting an old show that you never got around to watching and starting with season one is just wonderful. You've got tons of stuff to watch. You don't have to get every one of these streaming services. Start with Billions, first episode, get Frasier, or start with Cheers. Linus just started. You know, The Daily Show's always funny. Rabbit Hole with Kiefer Sutherland, another Taylor Sheridan show, Mayor of Kingstown, Tulsa King, another Taylor Sheridan show. True Lies, it was, it was all right based on the movie. It got canceled, I think, I don't know. Maverick, great sequel. Just just fit, wanted to figure out what pickleball was, okay? Guilty pleasure there. There's 1923, Harrison Ford, FBI, Most Wanted, Fairly Does Cop movies, Star Trek movies, Sonic. It's got lots of stuff. Apple TV is the next most popular streaming service if you're thinking about getting them based on popularity. And you can't, they got the beanie bubble, they must have be beanies. What do they got? No, we're not purchasing Apple TV. Hey, they got sports. You want your lead pass? Do you know what the greatest thing is? After Party, Tetris Movie, Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street. They'll throw in a couple movies that aren't theirs. Prehistoric Planet, documentary. Hijack, new show, C with Jason Momoa. Invasion, Earth at Night. Severance is very, very popular. Beer Run, Barely Eyeless. This Snoopy show, the kids are going to like the fact Peanuts characters are here. Foundation, big, big show that they put money. There's Ted Lasso, the, the big show you hear about. Oh, Apple TV, isn't that where Ted Lasso is? Yeah. They've got all these great shows. We just finished Silo. That was a neat ending. Morning Show was the one they talked about when they opened it. Got a new platonic, Shrinking. I love Shrinking. And I said, you know, it reminds me a lot of Ted Lasso. Turns out Harrison Ford goes with the big talent, Taylor Sheridan on Paramount, and the people that did Ted Lasso did Shrinking. So that's how you get big stars on shows. This is Jennifer Gardner's show my wife kept watching every week. We got, is it on yet? Is it on yet? Yeah, we had to watch that. C, Jason Momoa. For All Mankind, a huge hit for Apple. Huge hit. It takes place in a era where the Russians beat us to the moon. It's very cool. Let's try not to get any spoilers. No, okay, we'll just go back. Severance is very, very popular. It's kind of a workplace odd comedy where you volunteer to have your brain severed from your personal life and your work life. So when you go home, you don't remember any of the complications of work and you interact with your family, happy days. And when you get to work, you don't remember your family because you're busy working. It's kind of odd, but people love it. Historic Planet, second season. John Favreau, who did The Mandalorian and um, Iron Man is in charge of this production. Bad Sisters New. Luck was a fun little movie, we watched that. And not just because we have a black cat at that. So, all right, there's Severance. Slow Horses is it's kind of a spy drama. All sorts of great stuff on Apple, and it's not that expensive. They don't charge a lot. Hulu, the ad version is very cheap to get. No ads is very expensive to get. So this is what's coming for everyone. And we don't have it right now because I dropped it. <laughs> but Hulu's got the ABC and FX content from the networks. It's also got, it's part of Disney, but the stuff that is more PG-13, they're eventually gonna merge with Disney. They say they eventually, when they first merge, that you'll have to get Hulu separate, but you can get it on the Disney app, like they do in Europe, where it's called Star. And Star is part of the Disney app. And you don't just get the kitty stuff, you get the adult stuff. And that's what's coming eventually to Disney. Peacock. Peacock's, if you pay the premium, you can get WWE Wrestling. But they have the NBC shows. It's the least popular of the apps. I mean, CW is based on the CW network. And you get to watch shows. Occasionally, you'll get whole seasons. But these are the shows you see in commercials for CW and old CW shows. And it's a good app to have for free. Just watch some commercials. Good to have. Peacock has got The Office. If you want to start The Office from season one and 
just continue. That's a new show. My wife said no. <laughs> she don't like clowns getting messed with. There's Mario. That's a new movie you can see. There's Yellowstone. That's the show. Number one show in the world right now. T Taylor Sheridan is on fire. More wrestling. Got some sports. Yeah. The Renfield movie wasn't that great. But, you know. We've been watching this. Based on a true story. It's fun. Chicago Fire. The NBC stuff. The most popular of the three Chicago shows is Chicago Fire. There are a bunch of different shows you like. There's Night Court, Below Deck. Poker Face was excellent. Excellent. Ark was pretty good. It was all right. There's Bill Nye. The Rock, story of The Rock is growing up from three different generations. Oh, three of his, of him. Yeah. Top Chef, people love Top Chef. I mean, it's got stuff. There's some sports. Cocaine Bear, there it is. It's Champions with Woody Harrelson. We had to watch Cocaine Bear. When it came out, it was like, have to see this Cocaine Bear thing. Absolutely. So Peacock is like the least popular of the big eight streaming services here. But it's still, if you like NBC content, if the actors and the screenwriters get back to work, you're gonna love occasionally getting Peacock or getting Peacock during, they're, they're usually about six months where the networks are really dominant, skipping near the holidays, and but they usually wrap up their whole seasons around the end of May, and they start in September, October, skipping holiday areas, like sometimes November, December, or January might be skipped over a little bit for some shows, but you're you know, you get 22, 23 shows with a network and you go to Netflix and you might get eight shows, Disney Plus show, eight shows. So you can cancel these things on the sides. If your show's over, just cancel it and wait a couple of months, get it again. You know, pay a year for one or two of these guys, get the family together, say, what do we want to pay for a year? And Netflix does not offer a year price, but you can just keep paying every month. And you can rotate these things in and out. You know, when when there's no network sh stuff, Peacock's going to have some stuff and Hulu's going to have some stuff. But the smart money is, you know, getting a Sling or a YouTube, ESPN if you like sports, things like that, or YouTube TV, which is different from regular YouTube. It has all the cable-like experience and people get it for sports. They want to watch their football and basketball and baseball. And we just saw Apple TV has a lot of the soccer stuff you can pay for a year or during the season and pay for the, that. YouTube TV just got um, NFL Sunday ticket. So that's something people are picking up. So those are your top streaming services to get. Rotate in and out. Watch what you want for 2023. Enjoy.